Hello, my name is Priya Deshinka. I run the Migrating Out of Poverty Research Program Consortium, which is funded by DFID and operates in five global regions across South Asia, Southeast Asia, East, West, and Southern Africa. Our focus is on understanding migration dynamics with regards to the migration decision, uh, what happens along the journey, who mediates migration, that's all the individuals, agencies, and organizations that are involved in making mobility possible, and what happens um, at the other end, and what the impacts of migration are on the families left behind and the migrants themselves. So uh, we've been running now since 2010, and uh, we are working with a network uh, of organizations um, in all of these regions. These are higher education institutions. So we work in Ghana, Ethiopia, South Africa, Zimbabwe. And until last year, we were working in Singapore as well as Bangladesh. And in each one of these organizations, we have um, communication officers. And their job is actually to translate research into uh, information that is more digestible to policy makers and other stakeholders and we have been very careful to sort of consult them and better understand their priorities right from the beginning so we are therefore able to uh, sort of uh, feed this information into ongoing policy processes more effectively and some of the uh, bigger achievements of our program have been to actually you know change in policy in Ghana so our partners, the Center for Migration Studies, are very well uh, networked with government there. In fact, they are the only academic organization that sits on the interministerial group for migration in the country, and they played a very significant role in uh, bringing about the new migration policy for Ghana. Um, elsewhere, we've um, done a lot of networking with government as well as civil society organizations and other stakeholders. And um, we have also set up a network of journalists, again in Ghana, called MENOM. And they've been very effective in changing the nature of the debate on migration in the country. Because it used to be very negative, but now it's a lot more nuanced than that. But probably one of the most significant things that we've done is to expand the boundaries of the sort of conceptual thinking around migration. And this especially applies to the more hidden kinds of migration as well as forced migration to better understand the drivers for that kind of migration and the impacts that it has. And we've just recently produced a special issue on the migration industry. 